Getting a UK national middle free job through direct application can be very difficult if you don't write a good supporting statement. In this video, I am going to take my time to teach you how to write an outstanding supporting statement for a UK national middle free job application. Watching this video to the end, you will learn how to structure the supporting statement to appear pleasing and easy to navigate by the employer. You will also learn the various ingredients to add or put together to nourish your statements. If you are interested in this, why don't you invest a few minutes of your time to learn what will possibly confer on you many job interviews. So, come with me. If this is your first time watching my video, my name is Setsda Ajimai, and the motivation behind what I do is just always the fact that I know my knowledge and experience is only worth it when shared with others. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button right under this video and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, YouTube will quickly notify you for you to get to watch. Alright, so in this video, we are going to look at how to write a convincing supporting statement for a UK nursing job application on track jobs. For most of you who have been watching my videos, I made mention of the fact that I've been doing most of my job applications on track jobs, and that is where I have much experience in. So we are going to look at how to write a supporting statement for this job application. Okay. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is that we're going to look at what a supporting statement is, okay? Because I believe that if you should get to know how this statement is, you put in your mouth more best to write a convincing one, of course, to get a good employer to give you an interview. All right. And then the next thing you look at is the information to include in your supporting information. The question is, I mean, what information is the employer looking for to probably shortlist you for an interview? You get to know this in this video. And then you also get to know um, how and where to get the information. Where are you going to get the information to input in your supporting statement we look at that as well and then we also look at a sample of a good supporting statement we look at where i mean there are issues and i mean one or two things you can do to correct that okay so i believe that watching this video to the end you'll be able to write a convincing supporting statement and i will entreat you to possibly i mean take your pen and paper and just down points if not you can do your supporting statement alongside this video so that I get a better understanding of it. Okay. All right. So let's start. Um, the first thing I want to look at is what is supporting statement? So when we say a supporting statement, when we say a supporting statement, you see on track jobs, it's like your CV. Okay. There's no column on track jobs where you are asked to upload your CV. So what this means is that this statement you are going to write um, is going to serve as your CV. What this means is that if you write a convincing supporting statement, um, you end up having an interview from an employer. But if you write a bad one, I mean, your supporting statement will not be considered. As a matter of fact, you will be shortlisted for an interview. And that is why most people have, I mean, applied for so many UK nursing jobs but have not been i mean given any positive feedback it may be because you're not writing a convincing supporting statement okay so see your supporting statement as your cv in here and here you are to write 1500 words you are to write 1500 words i mean that doesn't actually mean that you write i mean this number of words but make sure that which number of words you are writing the important information has been included in here okay and uh, one thing i also say about the supporting statement is that you know it's going to outline your skills. You have to state something about your skills, your interests, your educational qualification. Okay, it's very, very important. Um, you have to also state your profile or what we call your professional experience. You look at how to write all this and the information to include in here. And you have to state your UK NMC registration progress is very very important so basically this is what your supporting statement must include the difference between the supporting statement and the cv is that you know with the cv you are not to write much i mean words it shouldn't contain much pages at least one to three pages is now for a cv 
by with a supporting statement, you are asked to write about 1,500 words. Okay, what this means is that you have the chance to include every relevant information you need, every relevant information the employer is looking for. So, I mean, I think it's not a big deal in here because I'm here to show you one or two things you need to do to basically put out a convincing supporting statement. Okay, all right, so now that you understand this concept, or you understand what a supporting statement is, I would want to look at one trick in here. All right, about two weeks or a week ago, I contacted one of the recruitment agents in my department and uh, I just wanted to find out how they go about their recruitment so that I could probably give out the trick in here. And this is what she said. So according to when they put out job vacancies on track jobs, they can receive about 1,000 plus applications. Okay, from international nurses and other areas. Now, so my question was, so out of this number, how many international nurses do they need? And possibly they can say like from 100 to, let's say 200, probably within the year. So my question was, how are they able to pick out 100 to 200 applications out of the 1,000 plus applications they receive? And this was her answer. Out of this number, they use a system called the Resume Robots. I'll explain that in a minute. Or ATS. Um, I think it's some artificial tracking system or something like that. Yeah. So what this artificial tracking system or resume robot does is that it's able to pick out the kind of I mean applications the trust is looking for. I mean, yeah, this system is able to um select the number of applications that has been sent in i mean so if they want 100 applications or 200 applications this system is able to select that number based on one criteria and then she said that um, what they have to do is to feed this vision robot with some keywords okay you have to feed this vision robot with some keywords now the keywords may be that of the hospital's core values it may be that of the hospitals, I mean, the job role they want you to call, I mean, pick up. It can be any keyword that has been listed in the job description or the key roles on the track jobs, okay? So in this video, what I'm going to do is that I will look at how to, I mean, pick up keywords so that at least if um, there's a need for this resume robot to select applications, um, hours won't be exempted, okay? So I just wanted to know the trick they use to select, I mean, the required number of applicants based on the many applications they receive and this is what they do so all they have to do is to feed this resume robot the keywords they are looking for so if let's say the hospitals i mean core values is um let's say something like listening or good communication skills all they have to do is to feed the resume robot with these keywords so whoever writes a supporting statement that contains any of these keywords will be selected by the region robot. And then those who write their supporting statement excluding those keywords that have been fed into the region robot will not be considered. So this is a simple trick with regards to how they are able to, I mean, sideline those number of applications to what they need. Now, the next thing I'm going to look at is um, the information you have to include in your supporting statement, okay? and where to get that information from. So let's start. All right, so at this point, um, what I advise you do is that you write a supporting statement, make sure you are doing that in a Microsoft Word or any other, I mean, typing um, software you think is more convenient for you, okay? Um, and then remember, you have a maximum number of words up to 1,500, okay? So what this means is that basically you can write something less and I mean, they are not expecting you to write that number, but the most important thing here is that whatever number of words you are writing should include the important segment or the important things they are looking out for. The keyword that might be fed in the region robot so that at least your supporting statement can be picked by this system is very very important okay so uh, if you look on the screen what you can see is that 
Um, this is a supporting statement. Okay, okay. Let me just change this to red so that it's much easier for you to see. Now, um, I call it the skeleton of a supporting statement. Um, to write out a convincing or a very good supporting statement, what you need to do is that you have to have a profile. People prefer to call it um personal statement or professional experience, whichever way is the same thing. Okay. So the question is, what should be included in your profile? We we'll look at that. And uh, you should be able to state your UK NMC progress. What should be, I mean, how should you go by it? How should you state it? We we'll look at that. And then your supporting statement should um probably outline your key job role. This segment is very important, and I'll show you how to write that in a minute, okay? And then your interest. What are you interested in? Here is very, very important. It's not much more of, I mean, you shouldn't focus on yourself, but focus on the trust on the hospitals you are applying for jobs. Because whatever interest you have should be beneficial to the trust, okay? It shouldn't be something that is, I mean, that negates what the trust is looking for. So if you have interest in educating the public, you should state it in such a way that it would probably be in line with what the trust is looking for. State interests that are in accordance with the trust values or the trust job description is very, very important. You look at how to write that as well. Your strength and talent. I mean, what is your strength and how are you going to use your strength or your talents to improve the, I mean, trust core values? Or how are you going to use your strength and talent to basically move the trust from one level to the other? What is your contribution? How can your strength and talent contribute to the, I mean, goals or missions and visions of the trust? It's very important. You have to include that in here. Um, and then you have to state the reason for applying. Why are you applying to that trust? Because there are thousands of trust on trust jobs. I mean, advertising for jobs. So why this hospital and not the other? It's very, very important. You look at how to write the reason for applying for jobs with a particular trust okay and one important thing i want to put across is that you don't have to write one supporting statement for all your job applications what i mean is that every trust should have a different supporting statement a specific one of course related to the job description related to the core values of the hospital related to basically the key rules you have to perform okay and uh, one problem i've realized people do is that they just write one supporting statement and then upload it. I mean, share it to all the trust. They never had any positive feedback from a trust. Okay. So you should remember that every trust has got a different core value. So your supporting statement should be geared towards the fact that you are writing specific, I mean, things with regards to that trust. And that is why the robot resume is much more concerned here because if um, every trust is going by this process and you try to write one supporting statement for all these trust. Remember that the keywords or the core values may be different. So if the core values are the keywords they are going to feed the reason robot with, then you should remember that your supporting statement will not be selected or your application will not be concerned because you just wrote one supporting statement, which meant that you only included one core values or the core values of just one trust and you try distributing it to many i mean hospitals or trust it doesn't work that way so make sure your supporting statement is individualized to the trust you are applying to okay so let's jump on to the actual thing let me just show you where to get um the information to fill up this i mean skeleton that i've drawn on here for you now, um, before you start a supporting statement, make sure that you have got a trust you want to apply to, okay? So let's go and look at this important thing. All right, so let's say I went on track jobs and then discovered that this hospital or this trust is recruiting international nurses. As you can see here, international staff nurse, okay? So when you count down here, they say that have you passed your IELTS or OET? The new two-part CBT and have NMC permission to sit in the OSCE. Then, why not continue your career within the NHS and obtain your NMC registration with us? So what this means is that you are looking for international nurses or overseas nurses and you are free to apply, especially if you have interest in the medical field because you are looking for nurses, international nurses to fill up their medical field, which may be either respiratory, gastrointestinal, immaculate medical, emergency, I mean, any sector in the hospital that deals with medical conditions, okay? 
All right, so what this means is that we are now convinced that they are looking for international nurses who are fitting their CVT and passed. All right, so as I said, just make sure you have a trust. Now, make sure you are looking at the job summary here. I won't go through with you. You can pause this video and then look at them, okay? And then look at the grade you are going to pick up. Um, basically, if you have not written your OSCE, you are going to pick up a band three rule. And once you have been probably issued a pin after your OSCE, then you are zoomed into band five, okay? So just take notice of that. Now, my major concern here is I'm going to look at some of the keywords you will need to write our supporting statement, okay? Now we know the skeleton. So this is the skeleton. We are going to look at the words we need to fill up this skeleton or to create a more concise and then relevant supporting statement. And uh, we need the keyword because of the robot region. Remember what I said about the robot region. We are going to fit this region, I mean robot region with keywords. So you know when you go through the trust, job description, job overview main duties of the job and other stuff you can see that if i mean there are some keywords in there and then these are the keywords you are likely to fit into the region robot or the ats to be able to get the right applications to shortlist for interview okay all right so let's look at that so now we are going to just take your time and then read through all this and then let's see some of the keywords you would get in here so at this point, let's see, are you a fully qualified international nurse looking for? Okay, so one keyword you have to um, look at is fully qualified international nurse. Let's copy that and then uh, open an empty Microsoft Word and then let's paste it. So control V, paste. All right, now let's go back. Have you passed your IELTS and OET? So let's pick this keyword here. It's more or less like, I don't see, it's a statement, but there are some keywords in there that you will need for a writer. Paste. Okay. So let me outline the keywords that I'm looking for. IELTS, past, IELTS, and OET. Okay. So should they fit the robust vision with this keyword? What it means is that it's stated in your supporting statement and you'll be shortlisted for an interview. The robot vision will pick up your, I mean, application and that. Uh, a recruitment agent can go through and then shortlist you for interview. Okay. And uh, NMC permission to sit for OSCE. You look at that. So, um, then why not continue your career within the NHS and then obtain your NMC registration? So, continue your career within the NHS. So, if you're able to state in your sporting statement that you want to continue your career with the NHS, and then probably explore new things, break alongside with this and other stars. Then, I mean, you've caught their attention, okay? So let's look at that. Let's add that to our keywords here. Paste. Let's go back. Here at Lancashire Teaching Hospital, we are currently accepting applications for, okay, that's good. Um, so let's go through i'm going to run through this very quick and then pick up the um okay so our nhs trust has a dedicated team of staff working directly to the nurses dedicated team of staff working directly with nurses copy let's go and paste i see that to be an important statement you can include in our supporting statement and then um let's move on to supporting them through okay at Lancashire, we try to make a difference to the health and well-being of we strive this is a very important thing so if you're supporting the you state that you also strive to make a difference to the health and well-being of the people in your community then remember you are working in line with this trust i mean values and then wishes and missions okay and that uh, you are likely to be shortlisted for an interview so let's add that to our keywords paste good so let me do this very quick and then we can continue okay
right, so we are there. These are the keywords I have gotten from the job overview up to the main duties and uh, the other information in here, okay? So just take your time and then I'll uh, pick up the various keywords you think are likely to be fed to the region robot. All right, so uh, let's go back and then let me show you. Um, so this is what I've got, the keywords, and we are going to put these things together to write our supporting statements. Remember, it's very easy. I mean, just pick up, we are looking at some keywords. So when you look here, um, we've got those that we use to write our key rules, okay? And then uh, um, one thing we haven't gotten here is that uh, when I went through the actual job overview, I couldn't see the hospital's core values. So what can we do to get the core values? All you have to do is to just come in, copy or open a new browser and then type in the hospital's name and then basically can get the core values. Okay, so let's go and look at that. So I did that and then this is what I got. So this is the core values, the values of Lancashire Teaching Hospital. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these as well and then paste it just as I did with the other keywords. Copy and then paste it in here. So let's come down here and then paste it. Okay, so one of the keywords here is caring and compassionate. Recognizing individuality seeking to involve and then team working so remember that the possibility that they are going to feed the region robot with any of these keywords is very high so if you are able to include them in your supporting statement then you are going to go you'll be shortlisted for an interview you'll be considered by the region robot okay all right so let's look at that So now that we've seen the information we need to include in our supporting statement, we are going to look at a sample of, I mean, there's a good supporting statement. Basically, um, it's one that I wrote some time ago, and uh, when I go to know the experience with regards to writing a supporting statement, I've been able to fish out some of the mistakes I made, and then those that I think were top-notched. So we are going to look at that in this video, so that you can look at that too also write a supporting statement remember um that supporting statement is not in relation to this trust or this hospital that i'm talking about with you now so if you want to i mean remember you can still apply now because this hospital is recruiting international lessons okay so you can just pause the video pick up these keywords i've already done the job for you and then put them together to write a supporting statement now let's go and look at the sample of supporting statement where there are hitches i will pinpoint that and then we are good to go. So basically, this is a skeleton. Okay. Now, if you want to write a very good professional experience or profile, um, let's look at this. So um, before we start, this supporting statement is 773 words out of 1,500 words. So what this means is that um, it, it can be said that every information that is needed by the trust is in here okay so you can see that i have loads of keywords in there and those are the ones i have highlighted in red okay so there are loads of keywords so should the original robot to be fed with any of these keywords then we are good to go so all right so let's look at how to write the personal statement or the professional experience okay based on the skeleton we looked at so as you can see in here um this is a sample of a good supporting statement and then we are going to look at that based on the keywords we looked at or based on the keywords we picked from the job overview and then the main duties and other stuff okay so let me just minimize this and uh, let's see how best um i can get okay all right so I'm going to open up the keywords we looked at and then uh, we see how best that goes. All right. So we are going to look at the profile. So let me minimize this and then let me bring this here. So these are the keywords we saw in the job overview for the Lancashire Teaching Hospital. Okay, so if you want to apply, um whatever i'm going to teach you here is very very important all right so to write a personal profile there are some key things you have to incorporate the first one is um make sure that whatever you are stating in there as your values 
correspond with that of the hospital you are applying to okay so now when you go downstairs we have the hospital's core values which are caring and compassion recognizing individuality seeking to involve teamwork and a whole lot of that so make sure that at least you incorporate about 80 percent of these core values in here okay so when you come here we have caring and then compassion so we have caring and then compassion here okay so if these keywords are fed into the robot resume you are good to go okay and then we have teamwork in here we have team so it says that i take light in no let's start from me also i love to be part of a team okay so you can use the word teamwork but in a different context okay so just take notice of that and uh, seeking to involve recognizing individuality this sample was not prepared for this particular trust it was prepared for a different trust okay and uh, those are some of the values that have been incorporated in there so make sure that if you are going by this method you are incorporating all these um keywords they are very very important and uh, in as much as you are incorporating the um, core values of the hospital um, you have to make sure that you state the type of nurse you are you are an international staff nurse make sure you are stating that because you are looking for fully qualified international nurse okay so all you can say can even say um i'm a respectful compassionate caring and highly motivated um qualified international staff nurse okay just make sure you're incorporating that okay so now we have this in there let me just try through okay and then uh we also have caring and compassion let me strike through we have teamwork in the so taking personal responsibility so let's see if there's a statement in there that shows that so i take delight in respecting uplifting and defending the core values of my workplace as well as staff i work with also i love to so you can structure the personal profile in a way that i mean you can even use the core values of the hospital to write a personal profile and then just make sure you state whether you are international nurse or whatever and then you state how many years or how many years of experience you have because in the course of the description um some of the trust will state um the minimum experience you have for you to be able to apply to your trust okay so state that you have four years of experience um committed to rendering excellent services so um i got to realize that we have a keyword about that i saw excellence somewhere let's see so yeah so we have an excellent deliver an excellent quality service so we have excellent services okay so this is a keyword you have to take notice so that is why it's important to bring out all the keywords in the job overview and then you'll be able to fix them in your profile so all you know your profile should contain the core values of the hospital probably present it to be yours but it should go in line with the hospital or the trust you're applying to state the type of nurse you are an international nurse state your experience and then also state where you are working okay so um here it was still i've worked in the new medical world for one and a half years and currently passing my nursing skills in the time bedded accident and emergency unit of a secondary facility so you mentioned the name of the facility and i'm interested in taking a new challenge in your repeatable trust this statement is very very important don't miss it okay so once this is done make sure that um i mean with the profile you need the core values of the hospital and then yours but just make sure it corresponds okay and then you are good to go um now the next thing to look at is the uk nmc progress so So here i'm going to state how far you come to your uk nmc registration okay so let's see how it is written so when it comes to the keywords that we picked past your IELTS and oet and the new two part cbt and have nmc permission to sit the oski so let's see if you have those terms in here so i sat for IELTS. okay 
on the 13th of February 2020, you can choose to ignore the date and then emerge victorious past. So they are looking for people who have passed their IELTS or OET. When my intense report form was released on the 26th, I then received a decision letter via email from the UK NMC. So NMC permission to sit for the OSCE. On um, April 4, 2020, authorizing me to sit for the competence based test, CBT. Okay, is here. I booked the CBT on the 23rd and passed as well. The UK NMC registration has been applied for. The necessary payments have been done. Eligibility and then. So, so and I'm left with OSCE checking the NMC portal. Okay, so I've been given the permission to sit for the OSCE. So this is how to write the UK NMC progress. Make sure you are stating that you've passed and then specify the type of English language proficiency routes. Um, state how far it can, whether you have been given a decision letter or you have been given the permission to go ahead to sit for the CBT and the OSCE. They are very, very important. So make sure um, you are looking out for the um, highlighted words. They are important things to take notice of. Now, when it comes to the key job role, let's come here. So according to the trust, they are looking for people who are responsible for planning, delivering and evaluating the personalized health and then working care needs of patients in line with. So there are a whole lot of um, skills outlined in here. So let me just um, undo this try through and then let's see. So here I'm going to state the job role. Basically, it can be the, the type of duties you have been performing in your hospital or wherever you are working in your home country, but make sure that it's about 90% of it is in line with what you are looking for. Because if you are looking for somebody who does A duties, and then you stated in here that you do B duties, remember, you are not going to be shortlisted. And remember, these are some of the key ways they will feed into the robot resume, okay? So make sure that you are looking out for, I mean, you are keying your job role in line with the key ways or what you are looking for in here. Okay, so they are looking for nurses who can plan and deliver and evaluate personalized health and well-being care uh, according to the trust values, okay? And they specify some examples here, personal hygiene and comfort, vital signs and then early warning scores, early recognition and management of acutely ill patients, safe transportation, last offices, fluid balance monitoring, enteral feeding, meeting nutritional needs, ECG, wound dressing, Removal of sutures or clips, catheterization, venipuncture, cannulation, blood transfusion. So these are the basic things we do way back in our home country. So they are very simple. So all you have to do is so looking at this. Um, as I said, this job rule is not um, that written for this particular trust. It was written for a different trust, but I think it's got something similar to um, what you are looking at here. So I have appreciable experience in some advanced procedures, including nursing assessments, planning. So we have planning here, all right? Implementation. Apparently, it's not in here, but just make sure that you are factoring everything in here in your job key role. Evaluation of patient care, evaluation here, evaluating is here. Venipuncture and cannulation. So let's see if you've got venipuncture and cannulation somewhere here. Um, so we have venipuncture and then cannulation. So should they fit this keyword into the robot resume, you are good to go. We have male and female catheterization. We've got catheterization here. So let me just outline those key things that we are looking at and see those that we've missed. So we are looking at planning. We are looking at evaluation of care. We also look at venipuncture and then cannulation. And then let's administration of blood transfusion. So we've got that one here as well. So let's highlight. So it's like we are having most of the things you are looking out for. So in this way, you stand a chance of being picked. Um, let's see what else. Oxygen therapy has it been stated in here. If not, that's fine. You can still leave it. Um, sessioning. Uh, let's see. Is something like that stated here. Let's leave it. Intravenous therapy. So you have IV infusion pumps. 
um, drives and uh, other rules. So just make sure you see that we've only got a few of the job rules in here. So the rest for so the rest for you to do is to make sure that you are incorporating majority of them in here. So you can add more of them. So let's say oxygen therapy, um, let's the um admission and discharge. You can copy this and then come and paste it somewhere in here. Admission and discharge. Now, so gastric tube insertion and care, that's NG2, which I believe I mean you might have performed in your home country. So let me just copy this. Copy, let me paste it here. So it's not a difficult thing to write um, supporting statements if you know what you are doing. And uh, psychological and spiritual supports. So you can add as many as you want. Okay. Let me just make sure that it fits in here. All right. Okay, and then the, the other job rules, assess a plan. So you go assessment here, nursing assessment. Support and provide patient education and health promotion. Be responsible for, so let's leave out some of these things for the next um, section, okay. So all we are going to do is the interest. Now the interest is very important. Don't just say your interest just like that. Make sure that it corresponds with what the trust is looking for. Okay. So it's like, what do you have? I mean, what, what are you bringing on board? Okay. How is your interest going to impact the trust or the hospital? If you have the chance to state those things in there, then you are good to go. All right. So let's see. Interest as a dynamic and a motivated resident I like to get things done in the right manner. So um, let's see if something like that was specified. So um So let's see. So um, let's see. I think um, we haven't got anything like that in there, but this was, remember this was prepared for a different trust, okay? So just make sure that you are factoring all those things in here so as to obtain the best outcome. Given this, I have much interest in mentorship programs, training courses, special touch. I mean, these are key things. Um, you have to also um, highlight in there, okay? Um, so just make sure, so just make sure that whatever is in here corresponds with the keywords you specified over here. And then uh, in addition, so we have other stuff. Let's see. Um, and any other arena that would aid me to carry out the right procedures on patients, as well as share the correct knowledge with team members. In addition to advanced my knowledge in the field of nursing. I read health-related articles almost every day to abreast myself with new ways of performing nursing procedures and handling patients with certain unique conditions such as asthma, hypertension, and the like. Once a while, I write health prevention and promotion articles via social media and opera news to conscientize the public um, as to how they can avoid certain diseases. So now let's look at this. This is very, very important. If you look at one of the job rules, they said that support and provide patient education and health promotion. So you stating in here that you write health prevention and promotion articles. So it's like you're already on the course. You, 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 you are into it already. So once they get you on board, it's like, I mean, it's, it's just a little support for you to get things done faster. Okay. So I think, I mean, factoring this keywords in here, it's, I mean, it will go a long way to help you. Okay. Stand out among the other applications. So you can add more of your interest. I just make sure that it corresponds with whatever the trust is looking for. So your interest can be like you act as role model. Okay. It might happen that you were the nurse in charge in your world, or you have once been the nurse in charge in your world. So in that way, you've served as a role model before and you have interest in that. Okay. So coming to join the trust is like have the opportunity. You may have the opportunity to also um, train newly qualified nurses or share your experience with them 
or actually uh, model them to become who they want to become okay so just make sure that you're adding more things more all ingredients okay all you have to do is just note the keywords and then factor them in there I believe you're on course. I strongly believe that I'm giving you an insight to how to write I mean, supporting statement. Okay. And then your strength and talent. I mean, what can you do? What are you bringing on board? What can you do to help the mission and the vision of the hospital? Okay. Or to help them attain the mission and the vision. Okay, let's see. No, I have had the opportunity to be the head of my unit. So you might have been a nurse in charge or you might have been put as um, an, a clinical auditor or something like that. Just this that in here. I wish to further develop my clinical and then leadership skills. As patients are the core of healthcare, I take light in delivering quality care, putting patients at the heart of everything I do. To provide the best possible experience and the satisfaction of patients and their families. I like working in partnership with patients and their families as well as other healthcare team members. I glow with excitement anytime there's an opportunity for me to um, join a research and then clinical audit team. Okay, so just, just let them know what you are bringing on board. I take light in making health professions. I take light in making health presentation on social media and at the outpatient department of my facility. Also, I use my graphic designing skills to make health-related posters to educate the public about disease prevention and health-related, I mean, and health promotion. I'm currently working on a research project regarding the role of social media in health promotion and then disease prevention. So just whatever you are, I mean, whatever achievements you've had, just keep that posted in there. It's very, very important. Okay, whatever skill you have that you think can help promote health, that you think can help push the mission and the mission of the trust, state that in your strength and talent. It's very, very important. Okay. And then my continuous encounter with diverse patients, as well as indulgence in mentorship and then presentership programs has conferred on me effective communication, prioritization, organizational leadership, and critical thinking and problem solving skills. They are very, very important. That is if your trust, I mean, if those terms are part of your keywords or well, in other words you can still include them and then uh, you are good to go okay and then let's go to the last one which is the reason for applying why are you applying to this trust among all the other trusts let's look at this so with the reason you can i mean you may have i mean individualized reason but just make sure that whatever reason you are stating is tangible enough for the employer to basically, I mean, shortlist you for interview. Okay. Um, you can't just think that you are applying to them because of, I mean, because, you know, um, they have higher pay rates. Or, I mean, don't focus your attention on finances, but it should be much more of, I mean, career development. It should be much more of how your goals or your values work, I mean, go in line with their values. Okay. So just take those things in there. So let's see. I'm seeking to be part of a more advanced team of healthcare workers where I could contribute my goals towards promoting my patient's health, gaining exposure, and then career development. That is to say, I want to work in a different hospital environment because it provides opportunities for me to expand my knowledge with training and then by working alongside with experts. I have an interest in working in the medical environment of your trust so just make sure here it's very important to state where you want to work okay it's about letting them know where you have interest in so that they don't put you as a point or don't put you at a department that you've not had any experience there before okay so just state where you have interest in um and then when giving the chance to work in your trust i will forever respect and then care for my patients and give them the maximum support to aid their recovery so i also subject myself to learning and uh, learning from my superiors and leads with other healthcare members to provide high quality. So make sure that here you are factoring all the keywords, the important keywords in here. You've got the whole lot of them here that you can use. Okay. So all in all, let me just maximize this. You have 773 words out of 5,000 words. So here you have the chance to write as many words. I mean, not exceeding um, this 
number okay all right so now once that you are done writing your supporting information make sure possibly you can give it to somebody to read through so that um spelling mistakes grammatical errors and other stuff are highly corrected okay so what i'll do what i'll advise you to do is that if you don't have anybody to proofread your supporting statement um the best you can do is to download uh, this software called grammarly okay it can basically help you i mean work out some common mistakes in there so that you may have about 80 to 85 percent of i mean a perfect supporting statement and that is free from grammatical errors and other styles okay so the question is when you are done writing supporting information what's the next thing um, all you have to do is just copy this okay and then uh, let's copy and you are going to paste it in your supporting information session on drag jobs so let's go back so okay so once here all you are going to do is that just scroll down and then uh, click on apply online okay all right so once here um, you know you are going to enter your personal details relationships habitation and other stars and uh, um, um, on and on it goes okay so um i'm not going to open this because i've got my personal details in there that i wouldn't want to show um but um i think i would try and then make a complete video about how to go through the process from a to c so that i get to know um how things go but um i just want to show you how to upload or basically paste the supporting statement so when you come to this particular point you can see supporting information okay it's not been started yet so all you have to do is to open it and then make sure you are reading whatever is here so let's start supporting information flows marked with an asterisk are mandatory so it's mandatory for you to write about supporting information and it's very important because you know this is serving as your cv and that for you to be shortlisted for an interview it may possibly be i mean one of the main factors will be your supporting statement okay so in this session, you need to demonstrate that you have read the published person specification. Let's take notes of this. And how you met the essential durable criteria for this particular post. If this has not been fully covered in the previous sessions, so please include your reasons for applying. So that is why in our supporting statement, we have to include that. Please include your reasons for applying and think of the opportunity to highlight your particular talent and strength. So we see why we have to structure our supporting statement in that manner so that at least it's easy for the employer to navigate so this is your strength and talent okay this is the reason why you're applying okay and then what you would feel you can personally offer so what can you offer those are your interests and your strength and then talent okay and then what is unique to you so you can remember in my statement i made mention of um the um graphic designing writing on social media and other stuff okay those are the things i can offer okay so all you have to do is to just paste it in here all right so at this point you have to do a little editing okay just to make sure that it's clearer so um what i'm going to do is that let's squeeze out this And then uh, let's see. Can also space this a little bit. Um, can also space this. So all oh, you know what I'm saying is that your supporting information should be individualized. Okay. Don't use one supporting information. Don't use this supporting information for other trust during your track jobs application. It's not right. I mean, it's you won't get a job, or let me say you'll be sure for an interview. Okay. 
you can maintain it, you can cut across all, I mean, um, applications you do. But, I mean, a few things has to be changed with regards to maybe the job room, um, your strength and talents will be geared towards the trust. Your professional experience and uh, other stuff should also be geared towards the trust or the applying to. So this is how to go by the um, supporting statement. Remember, you are writing a maximum of um, 1,500 words. So you have the chance to write whatever you want to write, okay? Now, once you are placed with this, you just have to save. But before you do that, make sure you have no, I mean, there's no grammatical error, spelling mistakes and other stuff. I believe that if you put whatever I've taught you here into practice and then you begin to, I mean, prepare individualized supporting statements, you will definitely get there. You definitely be shortlisted for an interview. So just know that a supporting statement here is your first impression, okay? So before the employer shortlists you for interview, before the employer sees you on camera, it will be based on your supporting information. If it's rich, if it's more, I mean, specialize if it's more individualized then this can earn you an interview after which the employer will demand for your cv okay all right see you